Hi, it's me again. In this part of the clear pass training, part two, we'll talk about the roads, which basically are tags. So in here, we're gonna show you how to create the roads inside the clear pass. Plus, I would like to integrate clear pass with Active Directory so we can use it in the road mapping. I would like to show you also how to create a road mapping policy and then use that policy inside the authentication and then we will test the solution so the roads are an essential part later on in the next part of this training we will show you how the roles can be used to impose certain conditions or to send back in the access accept message back to a NAT device that like the access point what can be done with that connection let's have a look we'll start creating roles here there are some built-in roles you can see these are all in square brackets are built in so we add our own roles we're going to add four different roles in this case and we're going to use them i'll show you how to use them in your actions that will be taken against someone who is connected and authenticated so we're going to create these and I'll so the first role i'm going to create Corporate role. So I created the four of them. Uh, we can filter by, with the keyword role. So these are the four different roles that have been created. Now we need to integrate uh, clear pass with Active Directory. So we are in the administration section. Click on the server that exists here and there's a join AD domain. Now you need to have a, a domain admin for this one. We go for dc.training.wizlane.net. The net BIOS should be translated automatically. Once that's the case, we will undo the default. We're gonna use our username, CPPM. You can use the fully qualified domain name or just the name. So you could say CPPM at training.wizlane.net or you could have left it as just CPPM. We're gonna say save. That might take a bit of time. And usually you will log out and log in again. So that's done. And we're going to close. Cancel. You're done with that. Double check. We're a member of a domain now. Now what we need to do is to add Active Directory as authentication source. So under the configuration and under authentication, you go to source. And you will add a new one, add, and we let's call it Active Directory. The type is Active Directory, and we will go next. And the primary server name is DC. Good idea always to go and do search, even if you'd like to use the whole domain. Um, In the search again is a good idea and we leave as this this as a default which is going to be a subtree search and uh, we're not going to touch that now we'd like to use attributes so we're going to like to use this as attribute so simply uh, we'd like to go for member of enable as a role as an attribute We'll go OK. So we're going to return whatever returned from here. We're going to use it. And if you click on this, it shows you what is going on. Next one. Again, save it. So now we will create the role mapping policy. So basically when the role should be assigned, the logic behind assigning the role. First policy, we're going to do corporate uh, role mapping. Um, default, we'll just go for others. Uh, 
the rules we would like to go select all matches because we might have multiple conditions we're gonna add rules so we'll show you an example to create one of them so we go authorization active directory member of contains corporate that's the name of the group that is inside um, domain and then that would be corporate role so after you create all the roles uh, the rules we should select all matches uh, it means you might have multiple uh, roles applied to you to that connection that should look like this and we're going to say save we're done with this and we're going to save it so what we're going to do now we're going to try and test the role mapping that's all we will not do much uh, other than that we then verify the role that would be assigned to the user we're going to use authentication from active directory so we'll do testing now and uh, before we do this just remember that's the older um, test user that's that was local and we're going to test it again and you will notice that the role will be assigned will be this additional one yeah so let's have a look so that's the test we will test also the local user test user again There is no effect on the actual access point because we're not doing anything. We're testing literally that the role will be assigned, i.e. the tag inside the clear pass itself. So now we go back to clear pass. That's the latest one. Connect. Now we need to update the service. So we click in here and we go to the role mapping and we're going to select our role mapping policy we created. And there we go we will perform the test now the client is connected and now we go to monitor access tracker we see the entry here we should see the role has been assigned as a temp role why because this was from the local repository and as per the logic it will be a temp role let's have a look we connect it as a test user from the local admin, uh, from the local user repository. And in the config, in the service, we said use that role mapping policy. And if we look into this, this is us, number two, the role number two. We get tested with a corporate user now. So we come here, we forget first, so then we can connect with a new user. Employee. That has failed, and the reason for this we needed to add Active Directory as authentication source. So we should do what we should do now. Go configuration service, edit this, and we'll go to the authentication, add another authentication source, which is our new Active Directory. We're going to save it. We go and check now. Now we can see employee um, and then the role, one of the roles was assigned is corporate role. That's what is expected. Again, we just assigned a role here, but we are not taking actions based on this. We will later on, the next video will show you how the enforcement will help us take action, send them back to, uh, to the access point and so on. So basically, as far as the access point at this, at this stage is concerned, nothing has changed.
for we are we are in clear pass able to demonstrate the fact that we are able to assign different role and this role here is a tag we're going to use it in the logic in the enforcement policy to take action thank you so much for watching the video on clear pass part two and this was about the roles and i'll see you in future videos thank you very much